Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Earthbound. And I figured out where I was supposed to go to deliver the contact lens. Uh, it was a person named like Giovanni, it was the second floor of this bakery. So I think this guy. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Here's my socks I use only for special occasions. Look, got the pair of dirty socks. Um, so I got Mr. T socks. Uh, help. <laughs> the enemy gets so nauseous from the ripe odor, they cannot fight. Going after one use. Alright, so it was useless. And here I thought it was going to be something awesome. Alright, so let's just go to the department store and pretend this never happened. We'll do some casual shopping and be done with it. Maybe I can sell the socks. It's one dollar. Man, that is just wrong. Yeah, I'll just throw out 10,000. Oh, security guy. I wasn't trying to talk to you. How would you like to buy some seasonings that go great on food at mealtime? No thank you. I don't need a four dollar packet of salt. Alright, that's food. That's a burger joint. Up the stairs. <laughs> Grumble mumble. Hey, a door. Nothing useful in here. Oh, here we go. Shops and tools. I can buy a chef's red pen. Gold bracelets. And that's it. How are you? Nothing good. You do that, buddy. Oh, sports. It's probably my baseball bat. Hey, dudes, it's summer. It's manly time of year. Thanks for sports, guys. Oh, time for sports. Not yeah. Also, thanks. Thanks, sports. Nothing good. Hey, yep, skipping school. Tch. Fine. Now, I could buy these yo-yos, but I want to be able to hit my enemies, so I'm going to not. But I will buy this coin of defense. What does he have? Oh, he has a Mr. Saturn coin. So, all good. Nothing here. Alright, so I'm gonna dump my money back in here and 
head back out. Yeah, you're welcome. So now what? Now what do we do? Uh, sure. Oh. Oh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Glog. So, they took Lily away. It's not gonna go up these stairs. Oh, killer presence. Mystical records. Actually, I remember this part. Um, the enemies here are ridiculously tough. There's actually a uh, enemy you can face here called uh, the. It's like a magic cup of coffee. And it like scalds you and like kills you in one hit. <laughs> hey, I found a whole pizza on that record. Why? <laughs> Why? You just ate that whole pizza too. Oh, uh, no. A killer guitar? Bass guitar? No! Ugh! And, yeah, guess who has my Franklin badge? Not good. Not good. Not good. Hit him, and I'm dead. Yeah, that's what I get. And that's why I stored all my money. <laughs> Whoa, what am I doing all the way back here? Is this the last place I <laughs> saved? I think it is. Okay. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut here, and when we get back, we'll be back at the, uh, at least the convenience store, or the department store. And hopefully we can, uh, turn this around and do the right thing. I really need to learn how to save more often. Gee whiz. Let me just revive him real quick. So I have to walk all the way back there, too. That's a bummer. Alright, so yeah. Um, see you in a second, I guess. <laughs> Later. Okay, we are back. In the Foresight department store that's now haunted with evil presents that are trying to murder me at every second and are doing a damn good job at it. Uh, we saved here this time, so now I won't be uh, utterly murdered. Or if I, well, I will be utterly murdered, but if I am, I'll appear right back here. Well, that must have been a cup of coffee. An evil cup of coffee. And I will not lie to you, this is one of the hardest parts of the game to me. And it dodged me. It dodged me and then snuck around me. As it crushes me. Good lord. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, this is the 
maybe fifth try for me. All five times I got to maybe the top floor and there were like six of them and I got murdered. So maybe this one will be the difference. Somehow I doubt it. I'm starting to feel very distraught about this. There they are. A whole ton of them. At least I'm just fighting records right now. The last few times it was records and... Oh no! He has homesickness now. Come on! You're going to give me homesickness here, of all places? Am I going to have to start over again? Oh, damn it! I'm going to have to try to do this without... without the main character. It's going to be downright impossible. Well, you'll go to heaven. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna really expect much out of this. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Alright, I guess I won't have to do this over another five or six times. And they took Lily to the Monotoli building. And the lights are back on. Now let's go get our self-cured. That was very harrowing. It's actually one of the toughest parts of this game. But I did it. I'm gonna pull out some money here. go heal. But running with just these two guys, not exactly my idea of fun at this point. So let's head to the hotel, get ourselves rested up, get ourselves fixed up. a unique service exclusive at our hotel only. <laughs> Caused by mouse? You mean the mouse that knew it was gonna happen? full as much as we can. Let's head to the Monotoli building and uh, try to get our friend back. Our friend with all the magic powers. Where is the Monotoli building? Duh. Oh, duh. The giant building. <laughs> A 
solitaire tournament. So if it's a private elevator, why am I allowed to use it? Security. <laughs> I was almost going to beat you up. Oh, it's Pogey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Get away from me, kid. You won't get away from me, kid. <laughs> oh, jeez. And we're being let out by security. All right, so now that this guy's a major jerk to us, we can we can leave. At least he didn't take us completely out of the building. Oh, it's Pokey's dad. He's such a jerk, too. Well, anyway, moving on. Okay, apparently I can't get through there. So where do we go? What do we do? Will we ever find our friend? <laughs> Apparently she's not here. Or I can't get in here. How about you? Man, everybody's creepy. Cafe. <laughs> what? Something outside? <laughs> oh. What the hell happened here? <laughs> I have to give this guy something? I don't have anything that I really want to give up. You know what, I'm going to go find something stupid. I'm going to give it to him. So, back to the department store. Actually, I know. Not even to the department store. Here, give me something broken. Ah, crap, I don't have any money! <laughs> this is not going well. Sorry about this, folks. Oh, we got some money. Let's go buy something stupid. Just so we can give it to that dope.
right, he's getting a salt packet. So back to the dope. I find him. Oh, yeah, it's up there. <laughs> why is why is this guy in a ditch? There you go. Is your salt packet? Yes, I'm luck. I know ever dread. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called Oh, so he took the statue. Gets his evil power from that statue. Cafe, check behind the counter. Do you want to hear it again? Ah, crap, I said yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did the old Ocarina of Time. Do you want to hear this again? told you twice already. You won't hear it again, no. What? So he just got up and walked away. What? No, you didn't. Now let me out of here. I bet you're on your way to shut the hell up. <laughs> he stared right at me. Yeah, so after all that, after him saying, like, ooh, ow, I'm dead, he immediately gets back up and walks away. So anyway, I think we're almost done here. Uh, on the next episode, we're going to explore Jackie's Cafe and find out what that crazy old Everdread is talking about. And uh, honestly, I know exactly what it is. And I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the game. So I hope you join me for the next one. I am cutting it a little bit early, I know, but forgive me. This is good. This is good for another episode. So, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.